Hello, hello, welcome back. We're picking up where we left off, which was after completing the Vega campaign. We have now transferred our save over here. We, okay, whoops. Uh, it's not one of the... Odd. Mouth being glitchy, I guess. Here you see, see we've transferred our uh, Vega campaign save to Secret Missions. Now, when you do the, use the character transfer save, it, it will change your save game file to this. This is normal. So you're at the start, and we are now... Whoops. This thing. We're now in the Goddard system. And if you, as you may have noticed, we lost our uh, Medal of Valor. Because we did not technically save save our game with one, one so... So something to note about the uh, secret missions is you play every single one included in the impact. There are no there are no branching storylines. The only branching is if you fail a, a mission once you just go to a, past a certain point, you got to make it go to the retreat system, which is a in, you know in game. Rather, uh, you go to the re retreat system, which is a fail failure system. That is, if you fail any mission at, at, after a certain point. This happened. This is also true of secret missions too. And now we start. And here we have actual Corvettes in the game. Sorry, I was tapped out to adjust the sound. Let's see if we can get out of control. Ooh. It, it does not like you tapping out to, to well, even for a second, so. Okay, so, off we go. Clean out the spawns. So as usual, with lights, you know, just remember what we did before, which, uh, rather what I talked about before. You would not normally, you not normally do that. You just uh, engage them normally, so to speak. There. So this is a, actually okay. So this is actually a new ship, rather new for the Wing Commander One. This is the, the Lombari fuel tanker. It replaces the uh, dork ears, which are the, well, rather, yeah, if America did this, that's a supplement to dork ears. And, uh, it, you know, it's pretty much the same thing as a dork ear, easy to kill. So we'll get rid of it. So 
we'll just go right through this. Ignore the asteroids. And we got the, uh, yep, yeah, I mean, we also has an alternate model for the, um, Tra the friendly transports. Oh no. I think we may have screwed up. Hmm, I still see it. There, okay, he jumped. I kind of forget we're supposed to wait for it to jump. Let's see. Okay, I think we're okay. We may have to replay this mission. Yep, there's the Corvette. Now, something interesting to note is I think they actually reused that a mod. No, wait, no, I'm trying to think. I don't think they reused that mod for Wing, Com Wing Commander 2. I could be wrong, though. But Corvettes are much more common in the Wing Commander 2 uh, era games. Okay, we got victory music, so we're okay. We're okay. Yep, we got it. We got it. Cool. So here's something interesting. Uh, Okay, well, first let's let, let the you know, let the cutscene finish. Okay, so here's something interesting: a pilot cannot receive alcohol because, you know, if they're on active duty. However, in Wing Commander Three, as be, you're being as being be, sorry, being as you're the um. The, at that point, Blair is the the squadron leader, and the uh, the one in charge of the flight squadron. He can actually ignore that and go into go into a, an active combat mission while drunk, and it actually does have mechanical Im implications. So that is an interesting little thing that they did down the road of, of the Wing Commander story. So where it, where you can actually be drunk on duty and inside a flight. <laughs> Kappa wing, huh? <laughs> so we got to figure out what's that nav one. Quarter million, uh. Them's Ricky numbers. Oh, so we got hostiles right out the gate. Now, against the crank, you're, you're, you know, it's not that hard of a battle, especially if you got support from the Tiger's Claw. But the Grafta can be a problem, so you want to be careful of those. Basically, do not ignore them. Try to get them to chase you around. So, there we go, get rid of that. You know, uh, troop transports and, oil and tankers like that are considered, you know, capital ships. So, standard procedure is, you know, kill the fighters and then go in, you attack them from behind.
this is actually a much easier fight than you think, because there's only just two, two, the, uh, two cramped in the tankers alone. So you don't have to worry, have to worry about much here. actually a very lot of them here. So we are, so, we're starting to go against the heavier stuff, meaning we're in the raptors. Don't worry, this is, you know, normal. It is supposed to look this, uh, scrolling this, uh, slowly. It really sells how much, how much fucking bad shit just happened. I think this match will be the longest cutscene in all of Wing Commander 1 just because how slowly it scrolls and how long the, te the text takes to uh, change. So, this is just how monumental this moment is in the, the entire original, you know, the entire first game's uh, trilogy as well as, you know, the uh, Terran Karate War.
So, you know, if we if we go by the fact that this is um you know, World War Two in space, as as Chris Roberts originally you know pitched it, or rather originally described it, it's kind of hard to describe to, to ter- you know to, to determine what kind of analogy that was maybe best as. I would say it's kind of like, hmm, probably I, I want to say it's a, a bit like Hiroshima in in a sense that it's a devastating super weapon. Dropped on a on a uh, you know a, a, a area of a lot of populations in it. I think that's what it's kind of like. I'm not. I wouldn't. I don't want to say it because this is. It's really hard to tell, and I don't want to give off the wrong impression here. Either way, it, this is a huge moment in the war, as I said a few minutes ago. Telling shot glass what happened is not an option, thankfully. So, this is actually pretty interesting what Maniac's saying here. Take note of what Maniac says, because it actually is kind of important later on. Sweet, we got Angel. We might as well save. Oh, and also we are in, let's see, I think we are in the border zone. Every single one of them is down. Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Ship. Let's see. Spaceborne vessel with a super weapon. Is this a fucking Death Star? God damn it! The Star Wars jokes get a little bit more op- more apt, huh? <laughs> Okay, we got hostiles right off the bat. So you're, you're at this point you're in a raptor, so this is actually easy pickings. So you ain't got you don't have to worry much about because Krantz do not cannot really go one v one against a, a raptor, especially if you got full guns. Like a couple of volleys, and bam, they're gone. Got hostiles here, let's see. Okay, now grass are much more of a hassle. Get rid of them. Fortunately, the missions are, are actually not that hard yet. There's certain points where they will be extremely hard, and it starts to get to the point where if you fail, you are gone. Whoa! Okay, so. This 
that how easy it actually is for a raptor to kill a capital ship. See? Once his shields are gone and you get some, you know, armor damage, bam! It's gone. And Raptor probably can't tank, tank that, you know, a little bit. Don't make it a habit, though. Now we got mines where they're not showing up on the map. Even though they, we saw them on the uh, mission control map. Right out of the uh, briefing room. Oh, okay, we got some more here. First time we've seen Draughty in a while. Oh. So this is secret mission is, is where, one is where it can actually get the lieutenant colonel promotion, and you remain lieutenant colonel until the end of secret missions too, where off screen you become you get the colonel promotion. Okay, sorry, I had to handle something real quick. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so how did us have some good points about uh you know mercy and all that? <laughs> and unfortunately Shotgun still has not heard anything about Goddard yet. So we are in still in the border zone. Oh, did it? that's odd. 
There we go. Okay, it's just actually acting weird now. Cause I, so I tapped up for a second. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So elite Scandinavian Marines, cool. So here's something interesting about the Reavers. They're actually they're actually more important in the uh, if I'm correct, they're more important during the secret missions too, because they're used in, or, in order to achieve a certain point in the game, as well as in novels where there's a, a Reaver uh, ma you know major lead. All right, let's go. So many mines here. And we got Jalties. Now, if you, if you line up just correctly, I think you can actually uh, pretty much one shot a Jalti. It's really hard though. And there we go. So Jaltis are actually, you know, despite what they, you know, what the game says about them, in, you know, in game, they're actually really easy to drop if you're in a tough enough ship. Mostly raptors. Raptors are pretty much the only ones that can actually deal with these guys cons you know, uh, consistently. Hmm, where's the Draymond? Okay, we could be here waiting a while. So, wait. Fortunately, despite being such a huge ship, it can actually really move really fast. So, you know, that's a thing. Like, look how fast it's going. That's pretty cool. Got the speed boost. Oh shit, it's coming right at us. Okay, so we'll just... <laughs> oh, the bugs in this game can be funny. A lot of this game, oh, dialogue has a lot of foreshadowing. I 
I think we actually are on a failing uh, path now. I'll know in a second. So I'm going to take a quick look, because I think we may be on a losing path. Okay, so we are actually in the Midgard. Uh, okay, let me check, because I may be wrong. Let's see. Okay, border zone. Okay, if it says success here, go to Midgard 1. I, yes, I think we are okay. But that was definitely ouch. Because uh, that was a little worrying. Because sometimes, even, I think, even if you had the victory music playing, that it, it could still consider you failed. Okay, so here's something interesting. Th these next two missions are actually freebies. Because you, you cannot start failing, let's see. Okay, Two, uh, there's like uh, about, let's see, uh, four missions from now is where you, if you fail, then you automatically go to the retreat system. Let's see, where is it? Let's see if it's listed here. Okay, it does not actually show a retreat system. Okay. So we will check in a moment. We're back to normal. This becomes much more important later on, so it's, it's another thing you should be paying attention to. Not like them. <laughs> this is dialogue. You don't want to hear the bitching. Whoops. So we gotta destroy the, the false staff, a captured tra a transport. Hmm, sound appears to be glitched. Well, Kaden, this is an unfortunate flaw in old games like this. one of the harder missions because you have a lot thrown at you and you're in a scimitar which is not a good ship at all. Fortunately it gets retired during secret missions too so you ain't gotta worry about that shit anymore.
Maniac gets fucking nuts at this point. Sweet, we got free booze. Free booze. Okay, we are still in, should be still in the Midgard system. Yeah. you would normally do is just, you know, standard to pick off the fighters and then go for the undefended destroyer. Draw the wingman now. <laughs> get rid of spawn so we can get keep this moving. Damn. Okay, apparently I dropped these guys. You know, two shot ability. Whoa. Just drop jumping right in front of us? What the hell was that? Oh, it's uh, something I forgot to talk about with missiles. Uh, they have minimum. Well, guns and missiles both have effective ranges. Uh, let's see. Mass drivers are, uh, I think, around 3,000. Neutrons are around uh, 2,500. And lasers are crap. I think those are 3,500, maybe 4,000. They're definitely long-range weapons. And missiles need to be around, I think, 5,000 to be useful. Oh shit! We got. Hey, I guess we got debated because that's actually the get the uh, debriefing failure m music and uh, that. Okay, I'm very confused because that was you know we we did everything right. We brought the uh, draw to in, but we got the the, uh, the mission failure music. So that's curious.
So the, pet, the pilots are getting starting to get paranoid. Let's see, where are we? Jotunheim. Okay, yes, if we fail mission three here, then we get sent to the retreats. With the drink. Well, fuck you too, Colonel. Dick. <laughs> what, are we unreliable all of a sudden? Clean these guys out. You know, from what I remember, the AI wing commanders, oh, sorry, yeah, the, the AI pilots, you know, wingmen are actually really good. So it's not necessarily a, a heavy burning problem. They're actually pretty decent, so, you know, if you're in something like Raptors versus, you know, Salties, you know, well, Salties, or rather, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. But the light fires, they'll actually drop pretty fast. It's only when they start taking damage, you know, a lot at once, then they start becoming a problem. The AI was actually pretty damn good first time. So this is where, where it gets a little bit dicey. You have a, multiple wings coming at you at once here. But, you know, we don't have to worry because we got rid of them all that quickly. Normally, it, it would be a little bit dicey because then they would go for, straight for the transport unless they're already on you. That this time we got the mission success music. So useless against fighters in a starship. This is the fucking Death Star. Alright, so we're still in Jotunheim. <laughs> when you make the guy when you make him fucking freak out, you know you did something wrong. 
Wow, is that simple? He asked him if he, if he does. He says, "Don't ground him," and then he doesn't get grounded. The fuck is that? So we have a capital here. Yep. Now here's what the firepower to, if it just looks like properly. This is how you normally deal with a tanker. Whoops. Yep. See, with a raptor, they're, they're incredibly easy to kill. Just, you know, just run up behind them. Best you can, and just pop, you know, pop away, pew pew, and drop a missile if you want to do it quicker. You shouldn't need to because you know full guns on a Raptor will just take them out in just four or five blasts since they go through the shield so quickly. With other ships like the Hornet or the Rapier, then you have a little bit of a tougher slog. So clean these guys out. All right, we gotta get in range. And it's not just like that, it's incredibly easy to drop a uh, capital ship with a raptor. They have the most damage, you know, most damage output in the game. You don't need missiles and a raptor to do that, but it helps. Now the communication ship? Huh, how the hell can they tell? Okay, we got no pilots here. Make sure to save. And we're still in Juttenheim. Now this is the deciding mission. If you know if you fail this one, then you are at you then you lose the campaign. Cause you will retreat. Okay, look at that. The uh, placement is weird. Because it should show her sitting now with the rest of the pods, but it shows her against the uh, wall. So, what the hell is that?
So the Joe Hunt, there's an executor class story running around here, which is interesting. So there's been no mention of this. So now we have hostile c confederation units. Because this is not the Johan, it's the Gwen Havar. Oh, shit. Well, that's not how you do this normally. You don't just stand there and let them do it. As you can see, it takes a lot of damage very quickly. Speculums are very useful here. They have, I think, a little bit uh, more uh, armor and hit points than your average uh, Karate capital ship. Otherwise, they're not really that much more of a threat. So when playing this normally, yeah, it's, it's just standard karate uh, capital ship tactics. Okay, so I think we have a mission glitch here. Let me see. Okay, so it says she was killed killed in action, but she didn't actually die, and we did not see a funeral, so this is some kind of bizarre glitch. I don't know how it happens, but you don't see the funeral. Cause every time you a wingman or your or your character dies, you get a funeral sequence. So and as I said before back in the Vega campaign. If a wingman dies during Wing Commander 1, they're, they're revived in the secret missions, and they're considered not dead. Nobody died canonically except one who dies during secret missions 2. So randomly, this can happen, and it's an annoying bug, because, you know, <laughs> there was no threat there. She did not die. So, it is an unusual bug, and I... There's no point in trying to replay it to see if it happens again, because it probably will happen. It's not worth it. So, uh... Xerxes is a game that made in the 1990s, but they're straight up saying uh, they had, you know, there's parts in the story here considering, you know, considering suicide. Uh, that was pretty fucking raw, okay? Like, this is incredibly raw for the 90s, alright? But yeah, anyway, you pretty much just ignore you know, Wingman being dead on dead during, in the, during the original game. And in the second game, they are not, they cannot die unless it's scripted. If I remember correctly, only uh, two wingmen in Wing Commander 2 are actually scripted to die. Okay, we're in the Bifrost system now.
Okay, so we're hunting a supply depot. Nice. A large ship. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I think the reason why it makes it a blue target is to keep you from trying to fight it early on. If it's the point where I think it is. Okay, get ready, guys. So you're still in Raptors at this point, which is great because you're you're getting going against Jolty and all that. <sighs> Dude, there's a hell of a lot of destroyers. Okay, so no matter what, the ship will always jump out. You cannot get close to it enough in time to do anything. Oh, I think we screwed this up. Let's take a look. We may be in a retreat system. Let's see. Okay, well, no, we're in Bifrost. Let me check what it says on Mission Guide here. Because I'm not sure. Okay, you're guaranteed to go to Bifrost 2 and 3. Alright. So it's, it's Bifrost 3 where if you fail, then you are screwed. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Unfortunately, we Commander one what did have its weird bugs and such for this sort of thing. So, Okay, so we're finally popping the star post. Okay, so he's disobeying the uh, turn to base orders. Here 
rid at. So now we've popped a fuel, uh, fuel, uh, yeah, fuel supply depot. Are there? Hmm. <laughs> Toughest mission in my ass. Man, our character's not very happy about being inside a rapier. Okay, an Iceman's threatening us. <laughs> Great. Bagging the ship with uh, the secret weapon. I got a feeling it's gonna be us. Can't you know? I, I can't help but imagine why it might be us. Okay, so occasionally, sometimes, uh, it'll show other pilots just randomly KIA. I'm wondering if they'll keep doing that. Whoops. Ah, this sting. Okay, we are in the Valgard system. Valgard and Vigrid are the last two systems in the game. Or, uh, the last two systems of Secret Missions 1. Oh, wow, we're camping out under a destroyed... Okay. Damn! That's some great info. Okay, so it's a super dreadnought. <laughs> now that I think, but I don't think we ever actually see Iceman in a rapier until then. Till now, I think we may have seen him all the way early on, but I don't think so. Now it says to do a common stop patrol, but I don't think you actually have to. Just kill, you know, go after any uh, you know anything that's outside and then move on. Yeah, see, go straight, go ahead, straight away. Whoa! Right on top of us, goddamn!
They just keep sending damn things in here. Jesus Christ. This is the kind of talk about what I talk, this is what I was talking about at the start. They just throw so much at you, and it's actually quite hard to keep to not stay on a winning path in this Secret Missions 1. But since we're using a chi here, it's not really that much of a concern. But normally, yeah, it would be very, very difficult. a lot of uh, kills you can get between the start of the Vega campaign and now. To survive, I'm gonna blow the motherfucker up. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck you. I'm gonna blow the hell back. Okay, so. here. We got two Frawty as well as their escorts. I think they're just straight up spawning in instead of, you know, coming in from outside. It's like popping into existence. So this is actually one of the hardest missions in the game right there, just taking out all of those and you know, living, even inside the something as you know, fast as the rapier. God damn. Injured what? We didn't even come caught. <laughs> Fucking hell.
should be in Big Grid. No, we're still in Valgard, okay. Okay, this is a defend mission. Whoa! Am, am I imagining it or was this a. Uh... Look okay, it was glitching for a moment. All of them, okay. Now we gotta get back to the front of the ship. Funny how they always make excuses. Yep, see now it's you see random now Hunter is randomly dead. So yeah, it just you just kinda just gotta ignore it. Also, Iceman, Iceman might be a bit, bit of fucking creepy. <laughs> Just saying. So we should be in the big grid system. Yep, and this is the final system, so we are pretty much done here. Oh, shit. Did we do that? Piss him off? This is where it gets start gets dicing. Just it just throws a shitload at you. So this is one of the harder defense missions, just because they they keep sending in heaviest the heaviest stuff they can. See, we got more. I think this is a grat. Yeah, it's another grat to wing. So even with the, your your AI buddies here, it can still be tough. And the tiger's claw it seems. I think, I think it always takes a uh, damage, no matter what you do. Damn it. 
<laughs> yeah, now those gunners decide to be useful. So this is interesting considering what ha what uh Boss Bossman's final arc is. And Maniac is living up to his fucking name. So this should be the last mission. <laughs> now I think if you have a hunter and spirit allowed still that uh they, they get special dialogue too but I can't remember if it's actually possible or not because you know the random glitching from earlier Final mission of uh, Secret Missions 1. You ready to stand things? on the screen here. So first I'm going to get rid of the fighter escort. This is what you really need to do with the Savar battle. And see that's how big the Savar is as you can see from this distance it's already huge. Here goes more of them. This is easily the hardest battle of Secret Missions 1. You know, even we, you know, here we are using cheat codes to get past it, and still, it still takes a lot to kill them. You know, there's a lot of shooting on the screen, so a good chunk of the difficulty comes from having to deal with the, um, you know, the frame lag. Now, let's see. Normally, you just treat like a any other capital ship. I don't think there's anything special about it other than. You know, extra laser turrets or something. And you need you need to save your missiles for it. Feels like it's not hitting the hitbox or something. Or maybe we're just not in range. I think that's more likely the case. And there it is. Of course I say that shit about uh, being the one to back to Savar, but fucking nightstick takes the kill. I should pop him right here.
and you have returned the ones on the back on the way back. Fortunately, if you survive all that shit, you ain't you, you got to worry about it at this point. So, interestingly enough, I don't think it actually matters who gets the, if it's your wingman or if it's you, because canically you're the one awarded to kill anyway. See? Look at it. Your character takes credit anyway. So I, I think you, if you, you had to have uh, all of your wingmen alive in order to get the Medal of Valor for Secret Missions 1. I can't remember if ever you got one or not. Okay, so what we're going to do is reload that save and intentionally fail it because I think we can still see the uh, game over screen that way. See, if I'm gonna correct you, it's Control E. Yep. That's what it looks like when you eject. The first time you do it, you get a, a medal for surviving ejection. The second time you do it, you don't. It's. Yeah. See, this is the Golden Sun. You can only get it that way. And this is what the game over screen looks like if you if you ever retreat. So, if you fail, you fuck up. That's a big fuck up right there. That's what it looks like. Anyway, that is Secret Missions. Next time we'll be doing Secret Missions 2. Anyway, thanks for watching.